got Hey YouTube, so we got duck today here. Uh, Is that a duck? Oh, I think I just got duck. I keep seeing this. All these dashboards full of little rubber ducks. What the duck? What is with all these ducks? <laughs> You've seen them all around town, Jeeps, their dashboards lined with different colored ducks, different types of ducks, like what's the deal, right? My Jeep was parked out in the mall and I got my first duck and we were like, all right, this is totally a thing. I don't know what it is, so we had to find out more. So we did some Googling and we found a girl named Allison that started this whole trend of the ducks. So Allison actually lives in Canada and she is the mother ducker, <laughs> as you will find out. We were able to schedule a Zoom call with her and find out a little bit more about the origin of the duck and their association with Jeeps. This was a last minute thing, so the audio isn't perfect, but I hope y'all can bear with it. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, can you hear me? Nice, yeah. Nice, loud and clear. Cool. <laughs> My name is Ethan. This is uh, Graham. Hey, Allison. And then we got. Sense to meet you both. We got another guy, Jansen, over here. He's filming. Okay. <laughs> so she has a really cool story of how this whole thing started. So Duck Duck Jeep started in 2020, July of 2020, a month after I got my second Jeep. I grew up with military Jeeps. We had a Korean War Jeep and a World War II Jeep that were fully restored by my great uncle growing up. And he created my love of off-roading. We had a family property in Bancroft, Ontario, where I got to off-road growing up, basically since I could sit up. So I took my Jeep back up there during the pandemic after coming back to Canada. And I had a really bad experience coming across the border and getting gas when I got home. I'm a Canadian citizen by birth, but I have American citizenship as well. And as an essential worker, I could cross the border. So I came home and I had a guy put his hands on me and tell me I wasn't welcome here. He bruised me significantly and it was a little bit to get away from him. And I ended up driving on empty many, many miles that I probably shouldn't have before I went to another gas station feeling safe enough to get gas. So rather than spread more hate, I wanted to do something to make people understand that maybe we're not as different as we seem. And that kindness, no matter what else is going on in the world, is a big thing. So with my wicked sense of humor, I bought a bag of ducks to torture my partner. Um, he lives up here. And um, at that time, we were living separately. So anytime I left, I would hide something around the house to make him laugh. So I had bought in a bag of rubber ducks and as we were walking into the store, I had a brilliant little idea pop into my head. Why don't we leave them on a Jeep and see what happens? Well, that being said, the Jeep driver that owned the other Jeep came out and I had written on the duck, I hope this makes you smile, started laughing, thank God, because he was a big, burly, scary looking guy. And you know, I'm sitting here going, he's gonna kill me. No, nope. he thought it was the best thing in the entire world. He laughed and he posted it on social media and we hashtagged it duck duck Jeep and I created an Instagram account and we created a Facebook page. We turned it into a Facebook group because it went insane very quickly. Um, Jeep actually picked it up with the release of the 392 Rubicon for the 80th anniversary edition. Then it got crazier. Um, Jeep actually sent me a Lego Jeep for Christmas that year, which was even cooler. And last summer they loaned me a 4xe Wrangler for two months that I got to test and play with and show people how it worked, which was amazing on the event circuit. We've ducked over 35,000 ducks myself and my Wrangler's filled with at least a thousand ducks at any time. It's amazing. Um, we're sitting at 76 countries we've had the hashtag appear from. Wow. Uh, we have a ducker that's an American military currently posted in Kosovo and she actually tagged Kosovo over the holiday season, which was really cool. So like, it, it's crazy just to see how a small duck has made such a big wave on top of the regular Jeep wave. So now we know what it is, how it started. We really want to know kind of why people do this and what was the purpose behind this whole, this whole trend? Because it truly is a world phenomenon. Tons of countries um, all on Instagram are tagging it. So it is now a world phenomenon. So let's figure out why this is a thing. The Jeepers are why we do this. 
I've had people reach out telling me that, you know, a duck made their day better when they got horrible news or a loved one got more time having fun before ultimately they passed away. And I have one jeeper that's been with us since the very beginning that's fighting terminal cancer and she shouldn't be here anymore. And she keeps telling me that it's my fault. She's still here. <laughs> and you have no idea how many times I've cried with these people, hugged them and some of them have become family. I have Jeepers in Tennessee that I will definitely say are family at this point. They helped us when my branding manager was in an accident earlier this year, get his service dog from Tennessee all the way back to uh, Socrates, New York. And our community has been nothing but amazing with all of us. Like they gave us places to stay, helped us make sure things were safe to get him, the dog home. And it's just an amazing, thing that's taken off and it's all about kindness um i was gonna say have you guys seen my jeep too because she's all ducked out no why don't you show us do you mind not at all awesome. <laughs> all right let's yeah, see just... i'm sponsored by rtx wheels and on trail bfg has put new tires on my jeep as part of our thing that we're doing oh, so let's see that is my jeep nice, oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, now what is that, a QR and code? Each of the, uh, that is our QR code for the Facebook group. Oh, awesome. And uh, is that a hashtag of Mother Ducker? <laughs> that is, that is my hashtag. People have been calling me that since the beginning. These guys, each one are individually cut. They're black and gold. Oh, and it that's... runs on all of my fender flares. And then, and that's supposed to complement the rim since they are the Zion black and bronze. Nice. For my kids. <laughs> So she was awesome enough to walk out in the snow and show us her own Jeep. Yeah, I mean, she lives in Ontario and uh, you know, it's cool to see just different people that all have the passion of off-roading and that's why people love Jeeps, but her Jeep's pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of ducks on it. <laughs> all right, so now we've found out what it is, how it started, why people do it, but what are the rules? Can you do this to any Jeep, any car, or what's what's the lingo here? Be, because I have heard of uh, some people actually, you know, wanting to duck their Toyota Tundra, but is that allowed? <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Um. So there are some rules, and they're very simple. It's about making people smile. We take a duck and we leave it on a Jeep. It doesn't matter if it's a Wrangler, a Liberty, a Gladiator, or even a you know Cherokee or any of the other Jeeps out there. As long as it's a Jeep branded vehicle, you can leave a duck on it. Um, the premise is to make people smile. It's about being kind. So if we we're gonna start ducking people, and mm -hmm. who, what, what are the rules like of hashtagging? Who should we tag? Uh, anything like um, that? Create a hashtag that you guys like, like Duck Duck Mad Lads or something along that line for okay. you guys. Um, tag it to official ducking Jeep EST 2020 as well because that is the actual Jeep permitted group. Um, I have paperwork that Jeep's given me allowing us to exist. Nice. Wow. Um, I've worked very, very close with Jeep to make sure that we follow the rules exactly. We are 100% nonprofit. Like I am not able to make anything off Duck Duck Jeep. We make sure that people have fun and are safe and everything we do, even on the page, is all volunteer. And that's what we noticed out, you know, at Trail Hero. That was our first, like, really off-roading event that we went to. Uh, you know, we filmed it and also the music festival mm -hmm. side of it. And we just fell in love with the people, honestly. You know, they yeah. were so accommodating was... and fun and just, like, very spirited. And, uh, and so that was probably part of the reason why we wanted to like really get into the industry. You know, you can see it as a really intimidating world where it's like big cars, big tires, but then the people yep. are so nice and we're just, our goal okay. is to, you know, just document this journey that we have being new into the off-road world, how, how tight-knit this community is and the fact that you just responded to us so quick, it just says a lot about what you've cultivated and, and the community mm -hmm. around this whole, you know, Jeep world and off-road world in general and just spreading the kindness mm -hmm. and so some people like it, some people absolutely hate it. A lot of the off-roaders, they're not crazy about it, but some people are. So we're gonna figure out why, why, what's the deal? Why do some people like it? Why do some people hate it? But Rich Klein is the biggest fan. Huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> we, we heard you like ducks. Oh, you just got ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are uh, on your way to being Jeepers. Yeah. <laughs>
There is a small group of people that hate the ducks and there's a hate group out there. They've posted pictures of my mom and my family and myself and threatened to sodomize me with a duck when we were in Tennessee. So, people are insane. Well, it's like, you know, hater, no matter what, hate, yeah. hate people are gonna hate. Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, you can't let them, as you found uh -huh. out, can't let them affect you. And it's like, honestly, yeah. I think it means you're doing something right. Yeah, yeah. You well, know. that's kind of what we said when it popped up. I was like, you know what? We've got a hate group. I think that means we made it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah and kept going. Um, I only warn you guys just in case you get a little bit of shit for the ducks if you have them on your vehicle. Just don't let it get to you. Okay. Mother ducker. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So what an awesome interview. We learned so much about ducks. Um, so it inspired us to get our own ducks and our own little card on here to help promote the show, but also be part of this community. So the next phase of this project is our research and development. You know, we've, we're got, we got back home. We kind of digested a lot, um, going on the boat, you know, figuring out why we're doing the show. And we really are starting to get time to really get in the, the nuances, the details of, of products, the people. And yeah, so we decided to, make our way out to winter 4x4. Four four. We're going to stay with Rich Klein in Sand Hollow and uh, hoping to get to go on a couple rides and honestly just do a lot of recon. You know, we're looking for sponsors, we're looking for products to put on the Jeep, you know, it's trying to figure out the best of the best and uh, work out some partnerships as well. And uh, most importantly, we're gonna send out a bunch of these ducks. So we printed, we bought what, 300? 300. 300 ducks, and I can't wait to duck all these mother duckers out there. <laughs> <laughs>